everybody, Jam Creates here. Back after a little bit of an absence, but I had to come back to do this review because I've been talking about this book for a while now. If you've been following me on, on social media or if you've been reading Indie Comics Underground, my uh, free online zine all about indie and crowdfunded comics, I'll put the uh, link in the description below. You can sign up for that so you get early access to that. But I've been talking about Voidwalker for a while because I have been hyped for this book. This book is written by Spencer Desmond and illustrated by, let's get the glare off there, Christian Rossi from Alterna Comics for a buck fifty. Now, again, if any of you have been following me for any length of time, you know I am a big fan of Christian's artwork. Um, in fact, he was just in the previous issue, the November issue, this month's issue of Indie Comics Underground. He was the artist spotlight. He was kind enough to do an interview. <coughs> and Beans is barking because he's so excited. Okay, so Beans is done barking, and we're back. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, Beans is my dog. You've seen him on my channel before if you've been following the channel for a while. So anyway, let's get into this. Voidwalker number one, enough dilly-dallying. Voidwalker number one. The There was a little preview, and it came out on a Wednesday. Um, I guess it was last month's issue. Um, and I've been hyped about this because I love Christian's artwork. So it's about a mafia hitman. You get the impression that he was... Uh, raised by like an adoptive uh mobster um i mean he says he says as much and uh here he is coming back and, and basically just wiping out the family and this is if you had any questions of oh is this a book for kids or whatever like that right there should tell you all you need to know <laughs> this is definitely not a book for children um it is brutal. It is vicious. Um, it really is pretty hardcore. And Christian's art is just spot on, like just brutal, really good stuff. And um, so you get this, you know, this hitman. He comes in and then he winds up getting killed. Uh, he takes this this briefcase that the mobsters had and then he winds up getting killed in the process. And this was where the, I believe, where the preview had ended. Um and so he winds up somewhere. I Is it hell? Is it not? I mean, it kind of looks like it. <laughs> um, but not really sure. Um, and you know me. I don't like to spoil too much. But I'm going to get a little into this. Because this is, I mean, this is the meat of the issue here. He goes down to this place. And he, is enc he encounters this crazy, like, demon creature thing. That, like, look at that. This thing wants to... It doesn't really want to eat him, but it will. It wants his blood, and then he needs to say his name. Uh, and then he promises he'll save him. And in the meantime, there are all these creatures making their way towards where they are. And if they get there, they're going to tear him apart. So, I mean, long story short, we already know what's going to happen. He winds up bonding with this thing, and then he becomes this which is such a badass design. <laughs> it's so cool. Like, it really is just this freaking awesome design. And then stuff just goes nuts. Like, dude, he starts tearing these monsters apart, these demons or whatever they are. He just tears them a new one. Like, it's nothing. Just ripping them apart. Really cool stuff. Like, super cool artwork. Great coloring, too. Um, I'm going to assume Christian did the colors. Um, because I know he does colors as well, and his was the only name I saw. In fact, are there even... Yeah, there's like really no credits. Um, so I'm gonna guess Christian did the coloring as well. Um, and Christian's, he's a badass colorist as well as an artist. Um, if you've seen Trespasser, he worked on Trespasser, also from Alterna. Uh, great art in that book too. Um, he's working on a couple of crowdfunded books that are going right now. The Gods Fear Me. Um, oh, crud. What's the other one called? I forgot. He's teaming back up with the guy, with the writer of Trespasser to do one. Un the Unclean. Um, that's another one that looks really good. Um, so, it, I mean, Christian, Christian's awesome. He did our artist spotlight, did the interview. Super cool guy. But, again, you could say, well, that's coloring your, your review because you obviously like the guy. Well, yeah, I do like the guy. But I don't need any there's no alternative you know there's no no reason needed 
no ulterior motive for saying that this art is freaking awesome because it is <laughs> um just like look at that That's, come on like this stuff is so good and i don't want to spoil like everything so i'm not going to go this is going to be a short video uh i'm going to try and keep these things short uh i don't want to overload you guys with long video reviews if i don't need to um the bottom line is the story is really cool it's got a cool ending um you know, it leaves on a, it ends on a really satisfying note, and it really, really, really wants me to pick up, you know, it is making me excited for issue two. I'm, like, super hyped for when the second issue comes out, for sure, um, and I 100% recommend, 100%, you gotta do yourself a favor and pick this up. This is everything that indie comics should be. It's violent, it's dark, it's gritty, it's got action, it's, it's a little scary, um, the art is awesome. The writing is really good. Like, it's just, I'm really looking, this is going to be, it's a four issue series and I cannot wait for issue two to come out. I am so hyped for this book. Like you, you don't even know. Um, uh, so anyway, that is my review of Voidwalker number one from Alterna Comics. The bottom line is just go buy the damn thing. Okay. That's what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> just go buy it. It is super, super cool. Um, and if you like, like, action, gritty action comics, it's, it's so, it just, it, it hits all the notes for me. It's got a sort of a superhero angle, and it could lead to more. I'm curious to see where it's gonna go. Um, there's definitely a little bit of a, I want to say almost like a Ghost Rider or Venom sort of influence there when you get later in the book. And, like I said, the art's fantastic, the writing is really well done. And I'm really curious to see where this is going to go. So I absolutely recommend. And I say, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Hit the, well, hit the thumbs up. That's, a, that's what it looks like. It's the button that looks like that. Um, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed if you were subscribed a while ago, just to be sure. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at jam underscore creates. You can follow me on Instagram. Also, Jack, <laughs> also at jam underscore creates. Can you tell it's been a little while since I've done a video? Um, so anyway, that's it. Subscribe to Indie Comics Underground. I'll put the link below so you can sign up and get early access. You can go check it out. I will be launching, this is exciting news, I will be launching an official Indie Comics Underground website. Right now, the website where the issues, when they go out to the, to the public after they get mailed to subscribers, because subscribers get them first, um, the website where they get posted, if you want to go back and read issues one, two, and three, um... Right now they're hosted on my my Jam Creates website, um, which I'll put the link in there too. You can check that out. But I'm gonna I'm launching I'm gonna launch an actual I bought the domain. I'm gonna launch an actual indiecomicsunderground.com. It's not launched yet, so don't go there. There's nothing there, um, and it'll be happening. So I'm just super excited about that too. All right, so uh, you guys are awesome, and peace out.